there weavers welcome back this is grace with tangled webs weaving and i wanted to show you a quick little tip on winding a warp with multiple color changes so i am winding a warp for some shamrock towels and i have uh, two different greens i have a dark green and a light green and the pattern calls for four threads of each to be wound into the warp now that's a lot of color changes because I have uh, 26 repeats uh, from, of four dark green, four light green, and then I have 27 repeats of four light green, four dark green. So I thought that I would show you how I handle those color changes easily. I have my warping board set up here so that my petal end or my cloth beam end is down here. I have a, a security cross down here. This end up here is what goes onto my warping beam. And then this is my main cross. And I do it that way because I'm going to uh, do the color changes down here. And it's just more convenient um, than having to reach up here to do that. So let me get you in closer and you can see what I'm talking about. So over here, I have a spool rack set up with the two colors on it. And I am not going to cut uh, the warp or the yarn between color changes. I'm just going to park it uh, over here on one of these unused pegs. So this is the peg that has the end of my warp or the beginning of my warp, I should say. And I have just finished winding um, four picks of, or four threads of the uh, dark green. So I'm going to park that on this peg. And I'm going to do it that way because it makes it easier to uh, not get the two threads tangled up um, coming off of the spool rack. So this one is on the left hand side of the spool rack. The light one is on the right hand side of the spool rack. And I found it just makes it easier. So I have finished. My cat is demanding my attention. Sorry about that. So I finished the four uh, threads of the dark green and I've tensioned it. I've wound it around this post or this peg several times and that will keep it parked there. Then I'm going to take the light green off and I am just going to pull that down to go around the peg there and I'm going to wind this one. So we'll wind four passes of the light green. back and now I'm done with the light green so I'm going to take it over my posts and I'm going to wrap it around that far post and then pick up my dark green and they will cross uh, here at the end but that's okay because this is where it's going to eventually be, be cut. So I don't really care that they cross.
And then I'm done with the dark green. So I'm going to bring it up. So this is my cross. I'm going to continue to keep my cross, which brings it up and over. I'm going to wrap it around this second peg and then grab my light green. And that's all there is to it.